Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for September 1st through the 15th, 2021. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new and as always, thank you for the likes and the subscribes and all the thumbs up. It really does help the messages spread further. For those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world um, at this point and this has been my full-time work for over three and a half years now. So the link below the video um, to my website, all the information is there for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits, definitely check out the testimonials page and you'll see I offer a 15% discount for first time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way if you feel called to do so. Um, other than that, we are building to the new moon, which will be in Virgo on September 6th. So that's it for Shop Talk. We'll get straight into your readings. Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is going to be for September 1st through the 15th, 2021. I've already, whoops, holy shuffle here. Do a couple more and then we'll get straight into your messages. Okay, Scorpio, cards are out. Wow, starting out. I don't want this to scare you. There are some deep messages here for you. We're starting out with the Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the Tower card. Okay, so Ten of Swords brings an ending. There has definitely been an ending for you in regards to something. This can be in regards to a relationship, a job, a work situation, a living situation, something. Um, but the Ten of Swords brings, it's very quick, like sometimes it happens very quick, but it's been building for a little while to have reached that point. And the Nine of Wands is, I'm seeing you protecting yourself, guarding yourself. There's like a wall. Uh, let me get this so it's more clear. Like there's a wall that's been built. And if you look at this character, they're looking over their shoulder like, I don't want to go back there. I don't want to go through that again, whatever that was. So this ending, this, um, this heartache, this pain, this whatever that you have gone through, there has been a wall that you have built because of it. Um, but a message that I'm hearing is this wall actually is not coming just from this situation. This wall and protection that you've had around yourself or around your heart has been there for a long time. So this is coming from something previous um, as well, which is part of why the connection here with the Ten of Swords is bringing the same feeling. Um, almost seeing a feeling of um, loss, disappointment, a lot of sadness. And the Tower card, the Tower card is having you feel as if everything has fallen apart completely. Um, typically for me, I read the Tower card as an epiphany, an aha moment, a realization. I do see some of that coming in for you, a lot of clarity, but I'm also seeing this is quite difficult. This is heavy. This is um, very deep what you are feeling and processing Scorpio. And I would say because Scorpios are typically very strong, very strong willed, very um, strong at getting through difficult situations, this situation, I can see it as really getting through to you, softening you up a little bit. It's almost like this, these walls, this barrier around you is, is being forced to be released here. So again, the tower card, if we're not getting the messages, if we're not hearing what the universe is trying to tell us, then it can feel very heavy. It can feel very forced. Um, but let me see what else is in the reading here. And I just, the, the main thing from those first three cards, there has been a major shift. Okay, I just saw like the rug being pulled out from underneath you. If that's how it feels right now, there is a reason for that. So after all of that has happened or will happen, the next thing that we've got here is the Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the World card. 
Give yourself space to process. That's what I'm hearing with the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles really asks uh, you to be protective of your time, your energy, your resources. Uh, you're pulled back, you're really focused within, and you're a little bit um, protective and guarded right now. And that's an okay place to be. I, I can see that this is very needed um, right here. The only thing I want to mention, uh, Scorpio, is to make sure that you are not closing yourself off to opportunities. Because this character, they're so focused on guarding and protecting that they're almost oblivious at this whole city behind them and all the opportunity and things that can be there available to you. So you can guard yourself and be protective, but make sure you're keeping open to opportunity as well. Because I can see that love and joy and happiness wants to come back in for you. Ace of Cups here, this may be a new love. Um, coming in or a deeper connection. It could be possibly with somebody you're already dealing with. Maybe things have completely fallen apart to break down to the full, true rawness of the connection. But the world card is bringing wholeness, completeness. It's bringing um, a cycle to an ending. So something has come full circle or completed. And I really love the world card because it can also speak to uh, becoming whole as an individual. And with the amount of love that I can see that the universe wants to bring in for you, it could be a message that that love is coming from within you for the first time. I'm seeing this as like a, an inner fountain uh, that is, that is uh, within you, your own love, your own joy, your own emotional contentment here. Um, but with that, it, it's, oh, okay, now I'm seeing it. So with that, what I was saying earlier, it's having that love and joy flow within you, but being open to that coming from the outside as well. So um, open from a person, a, a new interest, an old flame, uh, you know, love coming at you um, from outside. Okay, you're finding that within yourself. That is a huge part of your growth right now. I think Scorpio, because if you're feeling like the rug has been pulled out from underneath you, there's a reason for that. It's helping to recenter you on like what's important here. Okay. And last up, we've got Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and Page of Wands. I'm definitely seeing your energy on this Queen of Pentacles energy. So that that really brings through the desire. It's like a more domestic energy, um, making sure the home feels the way that it should, you know, so that you feel connected and grounded and like it's your sacred space. It's um, taking care of the diet and the body and those types of things around us. So I can almost see Scorpio, the, the, the focus is going to be more on the self and what is needed. I saw that here with the Four of Pentacles as well. Um, it's getting really connected to what the self needs, bringing that inner love and joy from within. So what is that for you? You may need to explore what is it that brings me joy? What is it that makes me happy? What is it that I enjoy doing just for the sake of doing? Those are things that um, I can see you're being guided to really explore that. And with this Eight of Pentacles, that is asking you to focus on the task at hand. You don't need to be focused on the past or the future right now. You are being asked to be right here, right now, focused on exactly what is in front of you. Almost like one pentacle at a time, one thing at a time, one feeling at a time. So I think that's a really strong message for you here with this Eight of Pentacles. And it's those one things at a time that build into the bigger things. I just heard the word stability as well. So doing that is going to help bring in stability for you um, as well. And with the Page of Wands, I see you getting your mojo back. I see you getting your passion, your inspiration, your excitement for life is what the Page of Wands is really bringing in for you here. So for some of you, that could be, you know, being open to dating or, um, you know, a new work project, a new hobby, something that really gets you excited and inspired. 
Okay, so let me see here. I've got a lot of earth energy out here. So Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I'm also seeing um, water. So you, if you're not dealing with another Scorpio, it could be a Cancer or a Pisces. But I, I'm just going to recap the strongest messages, Scorpio. Something has had to end with you. And now this could be an ego death, this could be a huge pattern or something within you that has ended, or it can be literally something on the outside, a relationship, a job, um, a home situation, something like that. This is a major shift. I don't know if I've ever had these three cards come out in a row like this. So this is big stuff and it's lining you up to be more whole and complete and happy and more love and more joy and all the good stuff. So take your time to process, keep open to opportunity amidst this time of healing. But you know, that Ace of Cups is in the center of your reading. So I do see love, I do see romance. So that again, that can be from a past partner, an old relationship or somebody brand new if, if you're feeling open to allow that in. That could be part of the message around being open to opportunity. Okay, let me see if there's any other messages for you here. Okay, Scorpio, you've got balance. As I said, balance, I heard body, mind, and spirit. So that's what you're kind of on a mission for right now is... Um, getting in balance with your body, your mind, and your spirit. Maybe one or more of those has been out of alignment, and that's why it feels like the rug has been pulled out from under you, or a lot is shifting and shaking all at once. There's always a higher reason. So focus on what brings you balance, what brings you joy, um, and that will really help to allow things to settle, settle out here. Let me get you a spirit animal message. Okay, Scorpio, you've got Lynx, Keeper of Secrets. Okay, take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You'll see others' secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and solitude, you will find your strength. Wow, I view this message as such a healing message. In silence and solitude, that's where you are here, Scorpio. Your wisdom is coming through stronger. That stronger you as an individual is what you're growing to. And that's part of the healing journey. So I absolutely love this message, this spirit animal message for you. Lynx, keeper of secrets. In fact, I'm going to read it again. Take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see other secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and solitude, you will find your strength. Beautiful. I hope this resonates with you. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising, or really any other placement of Scorpio. Um, thank you for your comments below the video. I do love reading your comments and the thumbs up definitely helps the messages go further. So thank you for that. Uh, if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. Uh, I've been a full-time master energy therapist for over three and a half years now. So the link below to my website, all the information is there for you. You can read about the benefits, definitely read a uh, the testimonials page and you'll see that I offer a 15% discount for first time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. And I think that's it, Scorpio. Hang in there. I'm wishing you a wonderful start to September and I'll see you guys back here for the second half of September readings. Take care.